hi everybody this is Crystal from Homemaking on the Homestead and today I'm going to show you how to cook an acorn squash in your instant pot. It is so easy and I love wintry squash but the one thing I don't like is how much work they can be to hack into them and to and to deal with the hard outer skin but the instant pot makes this super easy so I'm going to show you how to get this done and quickly as well. So here we go. You start by just setting your whole acorn squash after you've washed it. Make sure you scrub it clean and set the whole squash right down into your Instant Pot. The next thing you do is you add one cup of water. Remember when you're pressure cooking, you always have to have water or some sort of liquid in there. Put the lid on and make sure your, your little sealing knob here is set to sealing, not vent. Now you're going to press manual and set it for eight minutes. And that's all there is to it right now for the first step. If you wait a second, it will come on. And that's all you have to do. You're going to wait for it to come up to pressure and then it will start to count down. You'll see the eight appear and the minutes will count down until you hear a beep. And then you know your time, your time is up. Okay, the time is up on the time on the instant pot, so I'm going to turn it off, and we're going to do a quick release of the pressure. Let me kind of adjust my camera here. There we go. We're going to do a quick release of the pressure, which is not scary. It's you just simply turn it from sealing to venting, and you can hear it venting right now. And as soon as that is done, I'll show you the next step. Okay, the pressure is all released, and we're going to carefully remove the lid. At this point, your acorn squash is not cooked all the way. So, I just use a slotted spoon and pull it out and set it on the counter. The next step is pretty simple. We're going to cut it in half, which it happens super easy now that it's been partially cooked. And I'm going to clean it out. At this point, it can be just a little bit hot to kind of hold on to. So I just have a dishcloth that I'm going to use just to make it a little easier. And then clean out all the insides, which also goes pretty quick. Okay, I cleaned out the inside of them. I also took a second to kind of cut off the bottom. Um, or the top, however you want to look at it, just so that they sit a little bit better straight down. Because now at this point that all the seeds and stuff are cleaned out, we're going to put it back into the Instant Pot so that it can continue to, or finish cooking all up. I have set the, have the squash halves back into the Instant Pot in the same water that I had originally put in there that they cooked in, which is just fine. And now my next step, let me grab a knife here is I am going to put a little bit of butter in the center of each one. And sprinkle with some pepper. And some salt. And just because this is how we like it, it's totally optional, I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of brown sugar on the inside of them as well. But you can put whatever kind of seasonings or anything that you prefer. That's just how we like to do it. The lid goes back on. Now your pressure cooker is still warm, so this time it won't take very much time for it to come up to pressure at all. Just make sure you turn your sealing knob to sealing. Now you're going to set manual again. And we're going to put it down to, let's hold it here, we're going to put it down to six minutes this time. And that's all you have to do, and in six minutes, I'll show you what it looks like. The cooking time is up, so it's time to turn off the Instant Pot and do a quick release of the pressure. Now that the pressure is all released, you can remove the lid carefully. 
always kind of remove it towards you so that the steam goes away from you for safety reasons it can be still kind of hot and inside we have beautifully cooked acorn squash you can't beat that for simplicity and speed and they taste amazing i've actually made a whole lot of them this uh, fall uh, just because they are so quick and so easy to make so i hope if you still have them in the store you give it a try um, i do have a butternut squash sitting in my pantry that i'm going to try and uh, doing it the, basically the same method so enjoy some winter squash if you have an instant pot see you next time